What's up, everybody? It's Thunder, and uh, what you're seeing on the screen right now is not what I'm going to be talking about. This is a team deathmatch on Downfall using the PTRS sniper rifle, and I think I'm using the tank as my secondary weapon, but I'm not here to talk about that. I am here to talk about what we all saw last night and this morning, um, and it was the Black Ops, the full multiplayer reveal and a JD2020 over there at Treyarch, man, you got me confused. First you say there's going to be a full multiplayer reveal on your Twitter page. Then today he tweets, it was never our intention to have a full multiplayer reveal. So, uh, guys, get your story straight, man. Come on, guys, wake the fuck up. Get your story straight next time. But, uh, yeah, first of all, Treyarch, I have to give you guys credit, man. You got rid of Commando. Thank God. You got rid of Death Streaks. I mean, we will never see martyrdom, painkiller, that bull. You will never get drop shot with an RPD when you kill a guy ever again, people. They got rid of Final Stand. Thank God those shit, that shit is out of here. Uh, th those were horrific. Uh, oh, what else did they get rid of? Wait a minute. Stopping power? Wait a minute, no. Stop. Stopping power is gone? Really? Hmm. I told you guys, I've been telling you guys all along. Stopping power is the most noobish perk that ever created. All right, it is. I mean, I'm using it right here with the sniper rifle. Uh, I mean, it it is kill assist. I mean, everyone hated on Juggernaut so hard that they got rid of Juggernaut. And look what happened in Modern Warfare 2. Look what happened. Somebody saw you, you were dead. Okay, you, you were dead. There was no like evasive maneuvers. You couldn't get away. You you somebody saw you, you were gonna die. Bottom line, it was frustrating and it was annoying. Um, so stop the power's gone. Juggernaut's gone. Uh, Commando, thank God Commando's gone. Oh, man, fantastic. And that's what I want to get into right now was the perks I saw on Black Ops. And I was nervous, people. I was nervous about the perks. Um, because Modern Warfare 2, the perks destroyed that game. There was such overpowered perks, such ridiculous combinations of perks. And we're not going to be seeing that in Black Ops. So, like, one thing I was uh, really nervous about, and I was talking about this with Dunkus the other day, I was like, man, I just hope you cannot stack Marathon and Ninja. And guess what? Marathon and Ninja are both perk 3. So you're going to have to choose either one or the other. So I am extremely happy about that because being able to run nonstop really fast and not make any sound is, is game-breaking. It's overpowering, and it's fucking annoying. So, but let's not get into tier 3 just yet. I want to talk about tier 1. So let's get into the perks and Black Ops, everybody, because that's what, I'm all about the multiplayer. I know they announced some new you know, game modes. You could gamble on some points and whatever, you know, whatever, man. If I want to gamble, I'll go to the casino. But I'm all about the multiplayer and the perks and the gameplay, so I'm going to get right to that right now. So let's look at tier 1, everybody. We've got Lightweight, and we all know what Lightweight does. Uh, lightweight Pro, it's probably, you know, same thing it is in Modern Warfare 2. We've got Scavenger, which replenishes your ammo from fallen enemies. Uh, they haven't announced what any of these pro perks are, but I'm going to speculate what I think they're going to be. Uh, maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> we'll see. So Scavenger um, replenishes your ammo from fallen enemies. I'm going to guess Scavenger Pro is you do the same thing, except you start off with extra mags like Bandolier. Uh, then we've got Ghost. Ghost is the third perk in the Tier 1, and it is... Right now, they have it listed as undetectable by Spy Plane and Blackbird. So, you know, which is cool, because, I mean, in Modern Warfare 2, when someone had cold-blooded, um, you know, they no kill streak. I mean, there's a shitload of kill streaks. In Modern Warfare. I mean, how many people have been in a free-for-all game or, or any game mode where everyone on the other team is using cold-blooded and you get a kill streak? I mean, it doesn't kill anybody. So, I mean, I think it's cool that, you know, Ghost keeps you off the radar from UAV, it'll protect you against the Blackbird, but it won't protect you from every kill streak, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, maybe Ghost Pro will protect you from every kill streak, or maybe Ghost Pro will just, you know, hide your name like um, Cold Blooded Pro did in Modern Warfare 2. So, uh, that's that. Now let's get on to the flak jacket. Higher explosive resistance. Hallelujah, people! That's what I'm talking about. Wait a minute. There's no danger close. That's right. Treyarch got rid of Danger Close too, and man, Treyarch, I tip my cap to you people, bravo, thank God, Treyarch, I mean, they, they took the trash out, the trash is out, and Flak Jacket, I mean, higher explosive resistance, people, you never know, man, I think Flak Jacket Pro might be higher bullet resistance, like Juggernaut, whoa, wait a minute, 
I don't know. I'm trying to think what Flak Jacket Pro could be. I mean, they've already got higher explosive resistance. I think Flak Jacket Pro might be higher bullet resistance, guys. That Flak Jacket Pro might be Juggernaut in disguise. We'll see. Because I heard rumors that Juggernaut was in this game. As you can see, it's not listed. At, <clears throat> excuse me, not listed as Juggernaut, but Flak Jacket Pro might be <laughs> Juggy in disguise. So stay tuned for that. And the final perk to round out Tier 1, we've got Hardline. We all know what Hardline does, but since there's no bullshit death streaks in Black Ops, uh, man, maybe Hardline Pro will be your kill streaks do more damage, like Danger Close Pro was. Uh, I'm going to guess that's what that's going to be, Hardline Pro. Uh, okay, now let's get into Tier 2. We've got Hardened, Deeper Bullet Penetration, kind of like, you know, FMJ, uh, Deep Impact from COD 4. Uh, I have no clue what hard, Hardened Pro is going to be. But, uh, you know, FMJ is a cool um, Tier 2 perk. You know, that's great. And <laughs> um, Scout. This <laughs> this is completely u uh, worth useless to me looking at it right now. I mean, I snipe and, I mean, I never use Iron Lungs. I never, ever did I ever use Iron Lungs. And, and that's what Scout does. Longer hold breath during scoped views. Uh, I'm never going to use that. Never, ever. Well, maybe to get the challenge, but um, yeah. I mean, Scout Pro. I don't know. Maybe it'll be reconnaissance from what World at War was. Maybe that is what it will be. Uh, steady aim. Well, since we have Scout is longer hold breath during scope views, I have no idea what Steady Aim Pro is going to be. Uh, I have. I. I can't even speculate. I have no idea. So we've got Steady Aim in Perk Two. Sleight of Hand is also in Perk Two, and <laughs> I'm going to have. To, I'm, I'm going to get into what I think is the greatest combination is going to be, but uh, we all know what Slate of Hand does. Slate of Hand Pro is going to probably make you aim down the site faster. And that is, <laughs> man, that is going to be one of my personal favorite perk twos. And rounding out uh, tier two is Warlord, which is Bling. And Warlord sounds a hell of a lot better than, I always thought Bling sounded fucking stupid. Uh, you Bling? I mean, man, Modern Warfare 2, you, <laughs> Wow. Okay, so anyway, Warlord, yeah, you'll be able to have two attachments on your gun. Um, that's going to be very popular. And yeah, we all know Warlord Pro will just be two attachments for your secondary. So, okay, there you go. That's Tier 2. Now let's get into Tier 3. And what do we got? The top two perks here, Marathon and Ninja. Oh, boy. Now you're going to have to choose. Do I want to run like Forrest Gump? Or do I want to creep around all super sneaky like some thief in the night? Marathon, people. We all know what Marathon is. It's not unlimited sprint this time because, you know, Treyarch, <laughs> you know, they don't want to make this game fucking re retarded. So it's just, <laughs> Marathon is just, you can run. It's like extreme conditioning, except you're not going to be able to do it unlimited because that would just be overpowering and stupid. And I'm guessing Marathon Pro is that you could just run over objects faster, just like uh, in Modern Warfare 2. Uh, now we've got Ninja, which is Silent Footsteps. Um, Ninja Pro? Hmm. Uh, I have no idea what Ninja Pro is going to be, but we all know Ninja is Dead Silence, and I am <laughs> very, man, they still, uh, I don't know what any of these Pro perks are going to be, maybe Hacker Pro will be the counter to Ninja, because Hacker looks like Sit Rep, but I don't know what Ninja Pro is going to be, I have no idea, uh, underneath Ninja we've got, oh man, second chance, Noob Stand is back everybody, scratch those balls, oh uh, man, Second Chance will allow you to be revived and in turn revive others. So it's World at War Second Chance. Uh, Treyarch, th there's where you fucked up right there, guys. First big mistake. Um, man, this I wish you guys left this out. But you got rid of Martyrdom, you got rid of Commando. So, hey, you know, whatever. Second Chance is back. I'm not happy about it at all. Second Chance Pro will probably, I don't know, you could flashbang yourself when you get knocked down and, and kill yourself, so... The guy that shot you and legitimately killed you doesn't get credit for it. You know, just the same way you guys do in Modern Warfare 2. Um, now we've got Hacker. Similar to Sitrep Pro, Pro version allows you to booby trap enemy care packages and hack enemy electronic devices and turn them into your team's Claymore Sentry Gun or SAM turrets. Uh, that's That seems like it could be a pretty cool perk. Hopefully Hacker Pro is a counter to Ninja. Because Ninja definitely needs a counter. Ninja is the most overpowered perk in the game right now. Now that uh, now that stopping power is out. And what else do we got here? Um, oh yeah, the tactical mask. Uh, tear gas and flashbang resistance. 
that could be very useful, actually. That could be very useful, because getting flashbanged to hit with tab and gas sucks. Uh, actually, Tactical Mask, don't sleep on that perk, people. Do not. I don't know what Tactical Mask Pro is going to be, but... Alright, this video is over. Hold on, I, I still got some more stuff I want to talk about here. Let me see if I can find another video, but... I mean, as you can see, I'm going to break away from the perks. Look at this, 30, I go 37 and 5, and we can't even reach the score limit. <laughs> Look at my teammates, 6 kills, what? The runner-up, the guy behind me, my wingman, had 6 kills. Dude, are you serious? <laughs> Alright, hold on guys, let me pause this for a second. Alright, I'm back, and this is a nice little 20 kill streak I had the other day playing on Hangar with the SVT, and uh, I'm just going to use this while I finish my thoughts on Black Ops, so where were we? Oh yeah, we're talking about the perks, so I went over the Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3, and I think they, they look very balanced right now. Um, I'll tell you right now, looking at these perks, um, now, I heard that you could pick Tier 1 and Tier 2, and Tier 3 will be chosen for you, I don't know if that's really how it works. But assuming you could pick the three perks you want, I'm going to tell you guys right now what I'm going to be rolling with. <laughs> okay, it's going to be the M16 or the AK-74U. And I'm going to be using Scavenger as my Tier 1, Sleight of Hand as my Tier 2, and probably Ninja as my Tier 3. And I'm going to be tearing shit up. That is going to be, uh, I mean, Tier 2 is going to be dominated by Sleight of Hand, I think, anyway. Uh, maybe Warlord, for, who knows, but Sleight of Hand, it, it, by far and away, is the best Tier 2. Uh, Scavenger, I mean, <laughs> looks like it's the best Tier 1. And Tier 3, of course, the extremely overpowered Ninja. It looks like right now there's nothing to counter it. So, <laughs> there you go. That's that's going to be Thunder's setup. Scavenger, Sleight of Hand, and Ninja. Uh, you cannot go wrong with that right there. Um... Now I want to get into the attachments. I'm not going to get into all the guns because, you know, they're pretty much all the same. Uh, I'm just going to get into the attachments right now. Okay, we've got extended mag and dual mag. I don't know why there's both. Um, whatever. But, you know, hey, those are great. I mean, can you imagine the AK-74U with extended mag or dual mag? Oh, baby, now we're talking. We've got the ACOG sight. The red dot sight, the reflex sight, infrared scope. Infrared scope is back? No! Strike two, Treyarch. Uh, that's one thing I'm not happy to see back. Uh, we've got the master key, the shotgun attachment. Um, you know, and shotguns are now primary weapons, thank God. <laughs> no more bullshit shotgun action. Uh, shotgun secondary was a colossal fail. I mean, Treyarch, uh, Treyarch has an advantage, I think, as far as it comes to pleasing the community. Because Infinity Ward always goes first. So they can see where Infinity Ward just completely fucks up and, you know, say, okay, let's watch, you know, it's like anything else. You watch the guy ahead of you go, you see what he messes up, you know what to do, what not to do. So, I mean, I know I give Treyarch a lot of props, but they do have an advantage by following, you know, seeing what Infinity Ward does and then going in after them. But, um, all right, so we've got the Master Key, the Flamethrower Attachment. That sounds pretty hot. Flamethrower is back as an attachment. And, of course, the noob tubes are back. God forbid we have a Call of Duty game without noob tubes in it. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Good thing we got Flag Jacket. Anyway, hopefully it's not as broken as the Blast Shield was. And we also have the Silencer. The Silencer is back for your guns. And very quickly now I want to get into the kill streaks. The kill streaks. The dogs are back, people. The dogs are back as an 11 kill streak, which means they should be feral and ferocious just the way I like them. And there's an 8 kill streak called the Rolling Thunder? What? I don't know. Maybe it's, you know, your boy Thunder Toro showing up in a tank, just pwning some noobs left and right. Maybe that's what it is. The people at Treyarch haven't contacted me about it, but hey, you know, whatever. Maybe that's what <laughs> Rolling Thunder is. Me, Tank Horn. That, that would be a pretty nice kill streak. I promise I will, I'll get you guys plenty of kills, man. Don't even worry about it. Uh, okay, for equipment, I can't get into everything, guys, there's not enough time, but for equipment, tactical insertion is back, oh my goodness, boosters rejoice, boosters, clap your hands, put your hands up in the air, you guys will be boosting again, uh, there's no nuke in this game, but I know you guys will be boosting for points, and that is really cool, because people now, instead of waiting to level 70 to get your AK-47, you could just buy it, and I think that this is a great system, I think. Uh, really is a great system. It's the, instead of you know ranking up and unlocking things, you earn points and buy whatever you want. Uh, I like it, guys. I think Black Ops is going to be great. This this video is ending. This 15 minutes went by really fast. Uh, I hope you liked what I was talking about. And if you want to leave a comment and uh, you know go ahead. All right, I'm running out of time, guys. I gotta go. See ya. Bye.